Hey YouTube, today I want to give you a few tips how to use Office Mac 2011. So let's go to Office Mac right now. Um, I will show you just um, Microsoft Word and Microsoft PowerPoint. So when you turn on Word, it loads, just wait. The new Word 2011 is very different from 2007 so you might need these few tips to get started if you owned a pc previously it's very similar to office 07 and office 2010 so when you open up your uh, microsoft word it's just really easy um these are your centering icons your font size and font now when you get this right here you have your original bar on top um, for, you know, your tools, um, for your spelling and grammar and everything. But now you have these little ribbons up here that you can click on, like review, for an example. And you can just do a bunch of different things. So let's just go through all these really quick. Um, these are just the different styles of fonts and everything. Um, on Microsoft Office 2010 and 2007, you have a tab up here for insert. But actually, the insert things on Office 2011 for Mac are right here. So you don't have to go searching. They're right on your home tab. Um, you can just insert your text box. Um, you can insert shapes. The nice thing that I really like about this um, than Office 2007 or 10 is your insert picture. You don't have to go way up here and then cl click on picture, then click on photo browser. All you have to do is just click on picture, photo browser. It's way easier than on the old version of Office Mac. So I really like that, how they've inserted that in there. And now, you, something that um, Word and Microsoft call themes. You can do different themes, different color styles, and all these different things, which are really cool. Now let's go to layout. Um, on layout, you can change your orientation, your page size, um, your break, the margin, the margins, um, you your watermark, if you wanna have like, a watermark going across the screen you can change your page color one thing that I don't like is the page color is over here instead of over here which I thought was really strange um, you can put borders in or you can put um, grids in right here um, documents and elements now you can um, insert cover pages you can work on the headings header footer citations I really think this is really nice. They almost have an entire page just for citations. And me being a student, I go to um, West. This is really helpful for when you're doing a project or whatever. It's so nice because on the old offices, you'd have to, this would be split up into like seven different menus. So I really like this. Um, now tables, you can create different tables and shade them however you want. So another nice thing, a whole entire page just for tables. So that is really cool. Um, then charts and a whole page just for charts. I really like this layout. It's very nice, very simple. Um, and another page for smart art. Um, just a bunch of different art. And if you want to do, you can put circles together and do a Venn diagram. You can do whatever you want. And then for review, you can, um, just work on changes on your document. You can share it with mail directly, a nice little link right here. And you can work on the permissions, which means, like, who can edit this document and who can't. Um, but then up here, you've got, you can, like, the media browser, undo buttons, um, and just a bunch of different things. So, these are all the top menus up here. And just, if you remember, this is different from Office 2007 and Office 2010. Um, there's no, in review usually, there is usually the spelling check, but it's still up here in tools, spelling and grammar, just like all the different things up there. So overall, this is a very good update from Mac Office 2008. Um, me, I preferably would use Office 2010 for some reasons, but most of the time, I would use Mac Office 2011. Thanks, YouTube. Bye.